Hello, welcome to People in Perspective. I'm Camilla Davila, and my guest for this edition is mechanical engineer Bruce Lee Matanen. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Okay, so I know you're a mechanical engineer, so tell us a little bit about why you decided to pursue that career. Well, that one's a very simple question. When I was in high school, mm -hmm. like a lot of the folks here, I decided at that stage I wanted to run or own my own business. I wanted to run or own the business, and when I got to college, I always knew I wanted to be an engineer, mm -hmm. as that means to an end. Yeah. But when I got there, I f figured out the best way for me to do that was to go into mechanical engineering, because at that time, mechanical and chemical were the two hardest in our country. Yes. So I went into mechanical. Okay. And run your own company. You did. I'm, I'm aware that you're part, you're part of the steel company. So tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your position there and what you do and how that all tied in. Well, I'm a mechanical engineer, yeah. trained at, at IIT. Um, so I came out of engineering maintenance, but since I was 25, I've been running the company. Yes. And I'm chairman and CEO today, so I've been running it for 20 years. And I got in there, and it was strictly due to engineering and a good education that I got there. That's, yeah. And I know your company has taken you places internationally and abroad. I know you went to China and you visited Mexico as well for business. So tell me a little bit about your experience there and what it was all like. Well, uh, Mexico's a little, little more a history lesson. Okay. About 20 years plus ago, mm -hmm. we didn't have any sales in Mexico. So I went to Mexico, met the people, we opened, met some folks to start selling, and then we opened up a warehouse. So we now have a joint venture, 50-50, and we have very, very good sales in Mexico. Yeah, so you did start your own business there as and well. Started it, and we still own it, and we are very do very well. And now a little bit about China and how it was there. China is very recent. Within, Actually, I was there a number of years ago, but now we j are just building a brand new plant okay. on the south side of Chicago. Yes. So in the last year, I've probably been, last two years, China three to four times a year, wow. and our newest orders for the new plant with steel made in Chicago is being shipped into China and the Orient, Taiwan, and Thailand. Mm. So it's very exciting. Yeah, and that's a fantastic opportunity. And kind of along with that question, um, have you done any business with any important people or like, so a little bit on that. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, through IIT, I'm on a board of trustees and executive yes. committee at the university. I was fortunate to meet a lot of very successful people that helped mentor me, like hopefully some will mentor you. And, yes. and two of the most influential in my life were Bob Pritzker, who was chairman of the Marmon Group Hyatt Hotels, and Bob Galvin, who was chairman of Motorola. So okay. those two people helped mentor me and give me guidance. That, it's always good to have someone <laughs> lead you in the right direction. And you told us a little bit about your mechanical engineering. You told us a little bit about the company you're a part of. So. What was like your story to success, your big break, your, when you knew that everything was finally coming together? Well, I guess it started because I went to school. I knew I want, where I wanted to go. I ended up having very good grades at IIT. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually got the highest job offer out of the school oh, yeah. in my year. Congratulations. And, but I declined that offer. Why? And I took a lot of money less to go to work for Finkel. Okay. Because I was very impressed with the chairman who's deceased, Chuck Finkel. Okay. It was a f small, a private company, and I had multiple job offers, but I took less money. At the time, it was about $3,000 a year, and I owed fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000, like everybody owes money. Yes. But I took that because I saw an opportunity to change a company and didn't know anybody, got in there, and I've been able to change it. So my opportunity was to see a direction and a vision to help change a company. That's fantastic, being able to do all that and succeed in it as well. And you've talked about great things about your job. What are the things that you love about it? Like there's things that you like and everything, but what you really love about your job? Probably the most exciting that I still like. Mm -hmm. I came out of engineering maintenance. Mm -hmm. I'm a mechanical engineer. Yes. We design, build our own equipment. Unlike okay. most companies, we don't just buy it. I still design today. Okay. I like the creative process. So we built a new plant 
We built our furnaces, we built the equipment, and we designed it. I just recently got another patent. So my and myself team, not only do we run the company, we have to sell, right? We have to produce the product, we have to do everything every company does, but I really enjoy creating the design process and using that engineering skill, which differentiates us from our competition, which keeps yeah. our costs down. Just perfect. And a regular day in your life, what would it be like? Is it always the same? Is it always different? Well, you don't want to hear about it right now because I'm there at 5.30 in the morning oh. and I would still be there if I weren't sitting here with you. So as you build a new plant, which we haven't done for 100 years, yes. it's a lot of work. But under normal circumstances, if you're just running a company, then to be, you, what you need to do is look at growth and opportunities. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now we're hiring people. We're hiring new employees. We hired over 100 in the last few years. So the challenge is to get good people. Yes. And if you can hire good people, like hopefully some of yeah. you're with. You can get the work done. You can get the work done. <laughs> Fantastic. And then you had talked about being on the board of IIT. Tell me a little bit about that and what your position is there and about the new, that you're going to be on the board on, on yeah. a hospital. So tell me a little bit more about that as well. Yeah, I've been on the board of trustees and executive committee okay. of IIT. I'm actually one of the longest serving on the executive committee and board. Uh, and what I encourage you and everybody to do is try to give back. So it's not just what you can make out of your life, it's what yeah. you can give back to society, to kids, and to education for the future of our country. So I spend a lot of time with the school. I try to raise money, yeah. I give money. But the key is to, and like right now, I just talked to them today, we're trying to hire about six to eight people yeah. from IIT. So the key is to try to help people of the future, but help your own company. And what's been rewarding for me about that is being able to give back. Being able to give back to the country and society. Yeah. And then right now you asked about, I'm just getting, I'm going to be on the board of Roseland Hospital. Yeah in our new community. It's a hospital that has a lot of problems in the south side. Mm -hmm. uh, the community has not been served properly. They haven't been good in medical care. I'm not a doctor, <laughs> yeah. but I know a little about business and I've got a lot of good friends in that profession. So yeah. again, just trying to give back. Yeah, and again, like you said, it was all just giving back. Okay, well, thanks for coming on the show today. That's all the time we have. I'm Camilla Davila. See you next time on People in Perspective.